get more conversions in five easy steps easy ways to succeed at ads hey guys in this video i want to talk to you about paid ads paid ads are great they're an awesome resource to build traffic and to get you more sales however if you're doing them wrong and you're making some mistakes it can cost you a lot of money and we don't want that to happen to you so in this video i'm going to walk you through all the things that you should be doing on your paid ads and by the end you'll understand all this and you'll get a whole lot better results don't forget to subscribe hit that subscribe button down there turn it from red to gray don't forget to ring the bell turn all bell notifications so you're notified each and every time i go live or if i upload a video okay let's get right into it i was talking to somebody the other day and they were running ads and they were very disappointed and i said why are you disappointed they said well we're getting tons of traffic tons of traffic i said well then your ads are working they said yeah but it, people are clicking and coming to our company for services that we don't even provide we don't provide these services and yet they're coming to us now the problem with their company and their ads is they weren't specific they weren't specifying exactly what they did they were getting a lot of extraneous leads that really didn't do them any good you don't want to pay for leads that aren't going to do you any good so let's go through all the steps so you understand exactly what you need to do with your ads let's go through the types of ads real quick I, I just want to do that so you understand what we're talking about throughout this video the first one is called paid search now paid search is where you bid on particular keywords so that your ad comes up on the top of the page and people can see your ad that's paid search the next one is social media social media could be something like instagram twitter facebook any of these things where your ad is going to appear in somebody's feed that would be social media advertising the next one is banner ads and banner ads are where your banner is going to appear at the top or the side of a page that has to do with your particular niche and then of course native ads is where your ads appear on websites that have similar types of interest to your website so that people click and go back to your sales page or opt-in page whatever it is now paid ads are great because you can actually target exactly who you want to see your ads or to click on your ads and that way you don't waste your money you know it used to be in the olden days you'd run a tv commercial at night and everybody who had a tv saw it but not everybody who had a tv would be interested in your product that's all changed with paid ads on the internet you can now target the audience that you want to target now the first thing i'm going to tell you number one understand and use long tail keywords now i own a survival food company right down here survival k food and we sell survival food now i could put up there uh, on an ad um, survival food and just use the word survival food uh, if i do survival food people are going to try to click on my ad and maybe they're going to want to buy mres we don't sell mres maybe they're going to want to buy some freeze-dried food right now we're not selling freeze-dried food so they may want to be buying a lot of things that we don't even sell that would be a waste of my money so i'm going to use a long tail keyword a long tail keyword may be um, best canned beef survival food best canned beef survival food we do sell canned beef and it is a survival food and it is canned okay and it is beef so that's a good long tail keywords this is the term you want to think in long tail keywords now you won't have as many searches for it but that's okay you'll get the searches for something that you're actually selling now there's softwares out there like sem rush which i like uh, uber suggest is another good one uh, but you can also use the keyword tool planner uh, within google and that's absolutely free and it will give you suggestions for long tail keywords also number two understand the different types of ads there's a lot of different types of ads out there and some may be better for your company or not as good for your company so you need to understand them the first one of course i said is banner ads and these are more designed for people who are not necessarily looking for your product at the time but you are trying to get their interest in your particular product now here's examples of them from google facebook and linkedin and they may be reading an article or something like that and see an ad that looks like one of these the next one is text ads um, these are ads that are probably a little less expensive than these display ads uh, but you got to be good at your targeting of the keywords to get these to be effective the next one is social media ads and these have been pretty effective over the past few years on social media they usually have a little bit of text and maybe an image or a video something along those lines uh, and they are targeted towards a particular group of people there is a site called buy sell ads if you want to do ads like this uh, and they will allow you to target particular sites and put your ads on those sites make sure you target it towards a particular group and make sure that it is targeted towards a niche number three 
track your results i see this happen time and time again people will spend two thousand dollars a month or twenty thousand dollars a month and i say to them well how did your ads work and they said well, we didn't make any money i'm like well, are you getting clicks they're like i don't know like did they go to your page i don't know did you get opt-ins i don't know so you've got to actually look at the results that you're getting if you're not checking your results you won't know where to tweak it i've seen people say my ad didn't work uh, nobody bought anything and they had thousands of clicks the problem was when the people clicked they went to a page and they didn't buy so the ad was not the problem the problem was the page they went to that they didn't buy on was the problem so instead of fixing that page they went and canceled their ads when in fact they were working really well so the next thing i would tell you is review review your results on an ongoing basis you need to look at how much did you spend how many clicks did you get what are those clicks costing you when you, they got to your page did they opt in did they buy your product uh, if they bought your product what were your sales you need to divide that by the number of clicks so you can see what the results are you need to figure out what your profit margin is if you don't do these things you won't know if you should or shouldn't continue that campaign the other mistake I see people make is they'll use a set of keywords uh, and that's all they run is that set of keywords you can't do that what you need to do is you need to run maybe 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 different sets of keywords they will all bring back different results it's a whole lot better to spread your hundred dollars a day over you know 50 different keywords than your hundred dollars a day uh, among just one set of keywords because if that one set doesn't work you've blown your entire hundred dollars so what you want to do is select a whole bunch of different keywords and start killing the ones that don't work for you as well now I think a lot of people get disappointed in paid ads because they spend money and they don't get the results they want and they don't get the results they want because they don't do this analysis that I just talked to you about um, they're not a get rich quick scheme what you're doing with paid ads is you're trying a whole lot of different things maybe they're different images maybe they're different headlines maybe they're different keywords and you're spending money on all these different things and figuring out which ones don't work as well okay so if they're not working as well you start slowly killing off all these ones that don't work and leaving the ones that are working a little bit better and then once you get the ones that are working better and people are clicking more then you want to dial in on your sales page or your landing page or your opt-in page how can you improve that what headlines can you change on there what images can you change on there what pricing could you change on there you only want to change one element at a time you want to a b test it um, i do recommend Kartra for doing this it's excellent for building landing pages you'll see a link below in the uh, description of this video and uh, that link will actually take you to a video that you can watch and when you watch the video if you want to get Kartra, you can opt in for a dollar to try it out uh, but it's really good because you can switch it up so if you're sending a thousand people to a page you can send 500 of them to one page that has a particular headline and then the other page has a different headline everything else is the same on the page only change one element uh, when you do that you're going to find that one of these pages will operate better than the other one one of them will get more clicks than the other one one of them will get more sales than the other one then once you've done that you're going to want to take that page and maybe change the image uh, split that again and have two different images so 50 percent of your traffic goes to one 50 percent goes to the other and you're going to keep dialing this in and as you keep dialing this in you're going to get better and better results using paid ads is more scientific than you'd believe it's, it's just constantly adjusting and tweaking and tweaking until you get to the point where you're profitable in the beginning you won't be understand in the beginning you won't be don't say i'm going to run an ad i'm going to be profitable and if i'm not profitable i'm going to stop it doesn't work that way you're gaining data you're getting data you're figuring out what works and what doesn't work on paid ads if you continue to do it this way if you analyze it this way if you become more scientific you'll get better results also try different forms of advertising maybe you want to try videos on youtube uh, and keep in mind each channel is going to be different so on youtube a video ad would work well uh, a video ad on Facebook wouldn't work as well because people don't go to Facebook to watch videos they just don't they go there to interact with their friends and family so you need to have an interactive kind of ad there an image that's going to stop them in their tracks a little bit um, at one point we were doing ads on Facebook and we've switched over to a couple other channels because they're more effective not that Facebook isn't good uh, but we would put a black and white image because everybody else's images were color so you want to mix it up every now and then you want to do things that are different that's going to stand out if you look too much like everybody else you don't stand out and nobody's going to click i hope this has helped you out i hope you have a better understanding of these ads and you know what to do these are some simple steps i've walked you through and you can get some great results if you have any questions feel free to post it in the comments section below
below ask me whatever you want or just say hello if you'd like to do that uh, i also have a free course down there it's a 97 dollars course you can get it absolutely free all you have to do is click and learn thanks so much for watching this video if you haven't subscribed yet please do so hit that subscribe button turn it from red to gray don't forget to ring the bell turn on all bell notifications so you're notified each and every time i go live or if i upload a video thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one hey thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time i do a new video also click on one of those videos there keep watching on my channel